Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to render uh, QWeb templates in Odoo to display the data on the website. So in the previous video, we have discussed about uh, controller, what is controller and how to use a controller to display the data. So for this purpose, we have added this code. Um, uh, we uh, I have already explained in the previous video that how we can use the root and what is the purpose of the root uh, um, and uh, how we can define this method. So uh, here this method this is not mandatory to adjust uh, it the name is index but we can uh, change the name like display uh, subjects. Okay, so you can assign uh, the name whatever you want. And this method will be called on the basis of the uh, root that you add. So when when the when the user visits this URL, then this method will be called, and whatever data inside this, it will be displayed on the website. So let me restart it and then um, uh, refresh the browser. Okay, so let me refresh the browser, and here you can see it has been uh, displayed the data. Um, but I changed the name and it's still dis are displaying the data. Okay. And uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about the templates. Uh, so uh, generally, uh, HTML in Python uh, is not very easy to use. So uh, Udo has a solution to use uh, the templates. And uh, Udo allows any Python uh, templating system, but provides its own QWeb templating system which integrates with other features. Um, so in this video we will uh, create a template. We will uh, display some data by passing uh, through the uh, uh, controller. So first of all uh, for this purpose let me go to the views and here we will add uh, an XML file templates.xml and then add a uh, uh, this first tag and then Odoo tag okay and then we need to add the template so uh, we will have to use the tag template and then id is equal to so here we uh, need to assign a unique name to each template so here i will say like uh, subjects okay and uh, close it like this and then insert this uh, uh, for example we need to add a title for this okay title is uh, academy okay and the second thing is uh, to display the data under the title okay so for this purpose um uh, if you don't know about the qweb uh, too much so you can read it up read about it and we will explain in the uh, upcoming videos in more detail that how you can uh, work on the qweb uh, to uh, a different data so here we will use the for each loop uh, in this case. So how you can use it, uh, t and then t for each. Here we will uh, add uh, the parameter that will be passed uh, from the, param uh, that will be passed from through the controller. So I will uh, explain it uh, a little bit later. But here we need to add uh, the, when the variable so like uh, for example we can add subjects and then uh, we need to add t is is equal to so here, here it is subject so it will be iterate each time and it will uh, save the data of the subject each time here and then uh, close this so inside this we will use a paragraph tag to display the data and then a t T is C and then here we will use subject to display the data and then close it okay so this is how you can add the template this is just a simplest template so the templates can be a uh, very complex in order to add designs uh, and we will explain it later so then you will have to add it in the manifest file to uh, so that it uh, gets added on the database when we upgrade the module and the next thing is to call this template inside this uh, uh, this uh, 
controller so for this purpose let me comment this code and then uh, i will write here uh, the code to uh, return uh, http dot uh, request dot render so this uh, this method is used to render the uh, qweb template so here how we can pass uh, the name of the qweb template so first uh, first thing will be the module name and then the id of the template like subjects okay like this and then uh, the next thing is uh, a dictionary uh, that will be passed to the uh, template so like here uh, we have defined the variable as uh, subjects so we will edit uh, the key will be the uh, parameter that is passed to the uh, template and uh, then here we can add the values as a list okay like we can say mathematics uh, english and programming okay operating system so these are the subject names uh, that uh, we want to display on the um, view okay and uh, what we will do here and let me restart Odo service and then uh, we will upgrade the module to so that uh, the okay go here so that uh, the uh, template loaded into the system and let me go to the apps upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see uh, uh, the change here it is just a static message but uh, in this case it will display the data that we have passed uh, through this method so let me refresh it here you can see it is displaying the name of the subjects like uh, made, uh, like this one and this this is the title you can see here is, it is Academy and if you see here in the template we have added the title like this so here uh, instead of using um, P you can use uh, LI so first we will use um, UL like under an order list so you can add uh, your own styling whatever you want like this and then add identification okay and then uh, if you make any changes inside the template then we will have to upgrade the module uh, in order to take the effect of the new changes and if you make any changes inside the python that we just need to restart the google service okay so let just uh, wait to upgrade the module and then we will refresh uh, this page to see the new changes added okay the module has been upgraded and let me refresh it so here you can see it has been added as an unordered list so this way you can uh, make the changes and you can add the designs accordingly you can even add the css and the bootstrap styling also but um, we will discuss also this thing that how you can make it uh, like an old website to add the menu at the top and all the things and the header and footer so for this video it is enough because it is going to be uh, too lengthy so uh, if you want to get the updates of the upcoming videos please uh, first of all subscribe to our channel and then click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you